Good afternoon. My name is Jared Eldridge. I'm a product application engineer with Analog Devices IoT Platform Group. And today I'll show you the latest iteration of our structural health monitoring demo. In this case, the goal is to observe vibrations in the structure to use that to determine the structural health. For that application, we, we utilize the ADXL 355. This is an ultra low noise, low drift accelerometer. The noise floor is about 20 micro G's per root hertz. Our goal is to collect this data and upload it to the cloud where big data analytics would be used. But we want to do so in an ultra low power profile. And to that end, we, we have utilized the ADUC M4050. This is a Cortex M4 with floating point microcontroller with an aggressively low hibernate current of 680 nanoamps. We're also utilizing an ADXL 362 accelerometer. This is an ultra low power accelerometer in its operational mode, consuming about two microamps. It's stable state as you see it right now. The sum of those two currents is effectively the entire power profile of this application, drawing a bit more than two and a half microamps and providing approximately 10 years of operational life on a 240 milliamp hour button cell battery. Notably, the button cell battery's shelf life is approximately 10 years as well. So we've produced an application here with an operational life approaching the shelf life of the battery that powers it. In the event of a tremor or an earthquake or some critical event, the ADXL 362 accelerometer wakes up our ADUC M4050 microcontroller, which in turn powers up the ADXL 355 accelerometer, which collects 60 seconds of vibration metrics from the structure. That data is then brought down to the microcontroller where we could at that time simply upload it to the cloud and perform our analytics there. <laughs> but to keep a low power posture, instead we pass this through an FFT algorithm to reduce the data set and to minimize the active time of our ADUC, I'm sorry, to reduce the active time of our ADF 7023 transceiver. In this case implemented on a YSUN certified transceiver module. So we perform our FFT, we reduce that data set, we fire up our transceiver, that data is then sent via a wireless link to our gateway device back here. This is another AD, ADF7023 transceiver. This is an ISM sub gigahertz transceiver. That gateway is connected to the cloud where we then upload the spectrum plot of that vibration for further analysis. In this case, the analysis would be one of two things. Knowing the structure, the mechanical structure, we'll know whether it's wood, steel, uh, concrete, etc. We'll know the types of frequencies and amplitudes which may cause damage to the structure. In the event of, of a high amplitude uh, critical frequency, we know to send out a response team to determine the structural health. Furthermore, if we deploy an array of ADXL 355 accelerometers, we could position them along the structure. And over time, as we observe vibrations passing through that structure, attenuating somewhat as they, as they travel, in the event that the passage of a vibration through the structure strongly attenuates a difference between one sample and the next, we can observe that there would now be a, a fault in that structure, a recent fault, and we'll know exactly where to look to perform maintenance on that structure, even if it's invisible to the naked eye. Thank you very, very much for your time. I look forward to seeing you here at the rest of CES 2018.